scriptures talk about a blessedness that happens to a man whose delight is in the law of God. So as someone says, it says, but his delight is in the law of God. And doth he meditate day and night. He says that that man is like a tree planted by the rivers of water, whose leaves do not wither, when he bears fruit in every season. As you are about listening to this message, we believe that your life is going to be like that man planted by the rivers of water. Your leaves are forever going to bear. And we know that your, your season will not pass by. You will forever shine and you will forever bear fruit. We have a lot of content to share with you. So we would entreat you to subscribe to this channel as well as like us. Hit that notification bell to receive more updates from us because we know that whatever content here is going to set you on course at every time. It's going to make you attain whatever stature that Christ wants you to attain. Thank you. Parents, let's repent and serve Jesus. You see, all this trouble that people, parents, I mean fathers, grandfathers, and you, if you are coming from a family of idol worship, don't let idol worship come out of you. Be that bridge. Are we together? Look how many people are here. All of these people will be married. Some are married. What do you think will happen to that home? Some are in business. This is why you can invite somebody and say, come, let's do business together. You just thought that you are inviting just a body. But you may not know you are inviting altars. And every time believers pray and say, God, punish evildoers. What do you think will happen? That's why it takes the ministry of the blood. We just finished a ministry on deliverance. This particular lady I just prayed for from Cross River. I need to pray because there is something terrible in this family. One of you here, your father has, to, is it your father or from your lineage? You are supposed to literally take over the priesthood. Who is that person? Directly, and they have been calling you as you are now. Come, come and stand here. Let God help you. I don't mean a vision, no. They've told directly, they are calling you now that you should come and take it. Ah, Lord of heaven. Don't, listen, listen, please. Let's, let's be orderly here. This is the house of God. Let them come forward. Where are you from, my friend? Huh? Emo State, sir. Emo State. Yes, sir. I want to pray for you. You see, my friends, when Jesus comes, he truly can set free. This gentleman now, they are calling him. Do you know what happens when you reject that call? If you do not know Jesus Christ and you don't have spiritual intelligence, you will not have a life again. That altar will tear anything. If you are married, sorry for your wife and your children if they are not grounded with understanding. Look at this fine young man, but these wicked altars. This guy probably went to school and yet the altars don't care. My friend, look at me. Do you believe in Jesus Christ? Yes, I do. Yes, sir. Is it your father? My grandfather, sir. Your grandfather? Yes, sir. He's still alive? No, he's gone. He's gone? Yes, sir. And you are supposed to take over? Yes. From my maternal home. From your maternal home? Yes. How about you, my friend? My grandfather. And when he died, his picture disappeared. So I was told that I'm the, uh, my auntie, the elder, uh, father, my elder fathers called me that I should come to the home before she died. That I should come, there's a message for me. I'm the one that's supposed to be in the shoe. You are the one who is supposed to yes. take Yes. But God has called me as a pastor. That's all right. How about you? Mine, it was my grandfather. My father was the only son. So when he died, my father was supposed to take over. But my father refused, became a pastor, and was frustrated. Now, I am the only son of my father. In other words, if my father took over, I'm the one that's supposed to take over from him. Both of us are in ministry, but frustrated. You and your father are both in ministry. Yes, sir. Oh dear. Currently, my father's two leg is currently swollen up down to his private part. Very terrible situation. Battling with life right now. You see what I'm saying? I hope I'm not getting you to be afraid. But I'm just telling you that when God puts a miracle service like this, believe me, you don't want to know what people are going through. My friend, this man, this one lifting his hand. Yes. There is a serious prayer I need to pray for you. Talk to me. So I was told that my father has a call of God upon his life, but he chose it the wrong way. And since I was growing up, I was told that 
I am going to take the place of my father. Now he is late. Where is your father? He is late now. Listen sir. to me. Don't feel bad. Mistakes were made. It's a wrong group that led him. I will not say more than that. But he was involved in things he should not do. Do you understand? And the Every deity, alive or dead, every priesthood behind any altar that is troubling your life, manipulating the happenings in your life because they are trying to call you back in the name of Jesus Christ. I decree right now, let fire fall now. Help them. Let fire fall now. Let fire fall now. Every occultic initiation, they took you somewhere and initiated you into all kinds of demonic practices. I declare be delivered now. Hear me? And for all of you who have been threatened to come home and take on certain priesthoods in the name of Jesus, any altar that will not let you go, I stand right now as a servant of the Lord Jesus Christ. You see, there are two sides to God. There is lion and lamb. It depends on which one you choose to see. In the name of Jesus, every altar alongside the priest behind it, I command the earth to open and swallow them. I command the earth to open and swallow them. Swallow them. Swallow them. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Therefore, I declare all of you who are out here, I declare you free by the Spirit of God. Go and prosper. In Jesus' name. You see, let me give you an advice. If you are coming from a family of intense witchcraft and priesthood, don't be lukewarm in your Christianity. You either choose to be deep into this thing or to be very serious with God. If you come out and you just stand at the corridors of salvation, these altars will tear you. You hear what this my, my dear friend is saying? Your father is now paralyzed. Huh? His two legs are having a problem. Completely? Completely, the two legs. Sir. And he's a pastor? Yes, sir. Where is he? In Kogi, sir. In Kogi? Yes, sir. Where are you from? Kogi, sir. I'm Anigala. Do you know you have a prophetic call? Yes, sir. Huh? Yes, sir. You do ministry with integrity, yeah? Thank you, sir. And the Lord will help you. Amen. There are many things you need to know, but then God will help you. Amen. Listen and learn and grow. Amen. Father, use him mightily. Amen. The Lord will use you to bring an end to these demonic patterns. Amen. Hallelujah. There is a place called Aimba. Do you know that? I'm seeing the power of God rest on people right now who are from that region. Listen, listen carefully. I just saw fire and I saw that name. Everyone who comes from that region, if there is any altar that is holding you down, I, I'm not asking you to come out. You can just remain there for sake of time. Listen, I'm praying now. Help them. In the name of Jesus Christ, I don't care what covenant connects you to all of those things by the blood of the eternal covenant be free now in jesus name those who came out for that call whether you are standing at the aisles go back rejoicing in jesus name go back rejoicing in jesus name hallelujah now there is someone this is strange there's someone the lord is asking me to pray for you you deal in spare parts that's what you do but i need i don't know why god will ask me to single you out and call you and pray for you is there someone like that i don't mean you are just you are this is what you do i want to pray for you because the salvation of many people is connected to you when you find that person please let me let me have that person we're about to pray let's take a few testimonies
to glorify Jesus. Who is ready? Who is this one? Why is he here? You are healed? Spare part. Where? In our person. In the name of Jesus Christ. You too? Okay, so join him. Let me just pray for you. Even though in my vision, this, these are not the people I'm seeing, but then I will still pray for you. Father, in the name of Jesus, help these people. It may look like what they are doing is small, but I prophesy to you that though your beginning be small, your latter end will greatly increase. May the Lord prosper you. And he's prospering you not just for your sake. He's prospering you for the sake of your loved ones because you need to be there for them. He's raising you as a savior. May he honor you. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. God bless you. Okay, very quickly, let's have the testimonies. Yes, All sir. Right. Um, so, Apostle, she came in here with very severe pain in her throat. She was pain in your throat? Yes, sir. How many years, my dear? Sir, I, I normally have a sore throat. Okay. So, but when this pain started, it started last night. I was so scared that it yes. would be the sore throat. Yes. I took hot water. It did not stop. Today, as I was even sitting down there, I was having the pain. It was so serious. But as you were preaching, as you were praying for us, you, you, you mentioned of of throat pain yes. and the pain and the pain completely gone i can swallow throat like uh, spit now in no the pain name again. of jesus christ i amen. decree and declare amen. it never returns to you amen in jesus name amen. yes please then sir we have two fantastic testimonies again yes please you spoke about people that you know had been stammering and okay instantaneously healed so i've been stammering for like 20 years so it's been very difficult to talk sometimes. stammering yes. you are yes, sure sir. of that yes sir who knows him? I have a classmate. You have a what? We have, we have someone there. Who knows him as a witness? <laughs> Tell us. We've been friends from secondary school. You've been friends from secondary school? Yes, He's sir. been a stammerer? Yes, sir. Right now? Yes, sir. Even when we came this morning. Even when you came? Yes, sir. And right now? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Repeat after me. For God so loved the world. For God so loved the world. That he gave his only begotten son. That he gave his only begotten son. That whosoever believes in him. That whosoever believes in him. Should not perish. Should not perish. But have eternal life. But have eternal Come on, life. give Jesus praise. Look at this. Look at this. In the name of Jesus, my friend, it will never return to you. And, and for this good friend, for coming to encourage him, in the name of Jesus, may good things look for you. In the name of Jesus Christ. Yes, please. Let me hear the testimony of you. All right, sir. So it's similar case. Praise God. Boy, how are you? I'm fine, sir. What is your name? Alvin. Alvin. What happened to him? Who brought him? Sir, he, he actually was healed from stammering too. Oh, you were healed from stammering. I was wondering why the boy was there. Okay. Say, Jesus is Lord. Jesus is Lord. Say, Jesus, I love you. Jesus, I love you. Oh, my God. Look at this. Oh, the boy is crying. Stretch your hands towards this boy. Let's ask the Lord to use him. These are the kinds of things we want. When this boy becomes a preacher, he will remember his stammering and the healing alone can be a message for the lifetime of the ministry don't despise him when you see an adult you have seen what he will become but when you see a little boy like this pray for him father use this boy mightily it's been our prayer for many years that koinonia children will become mighty battle axes in the hands of god and it is still our prayer may the lord use you mightily in jesus name let's celebrate him god bless you yes please Apostle, you gave word of knowledge of those who have surgery done in their tie, not properly done. This lady came. The surgery was done 15 years ago. Let, let her speak. Um, the surgery was done. It was from an accident. You had an accident. Yes. How long? 15 years ago. And what happened? Um, femoral fracture. Uh -huh. So it happened that the bone didn't join properly. So um, one inch, one leg is longer than one by one inch. I'm not able to stand on the other leg. And... Lately, it has been paining me, so I went to do a straight. Okay. So you couldn't stand on the other leg? Yes, and severe pain okay. lately. 
and right now there's no pain at completely all. which of the legs this right match with it let me see i've been standing on it for a oh while you've been standing now. on it look yes. at she couldn't stand on it she came here with the pain today you came in with the pain yes sir walk but now she's healed any pain any pain the same case for our brother here yes. four years ago what happened to you four years ago so four years ago i have an accident when I, i'm working in philly station so all of a sudden i was treated by all those traditional medicine i have been seated for more than one year on the floor receiving my treatment so look at the evidence the leg is not even set because of the injury on my leg so it used to inch me sometimes the leg used to hold me wherever i'm even praying i can't even do this on my own but after the prophecy i key to the prophecy all of a sudden as you declare yes instantly the pain just went off hallelujah stand up my friend stand up please come that's not why you came out listen to me i want to pray for you you see the association you are part of determines what happens to you you are a great man but it's, it's not for me to speak i'm on air but something has been done to you you are loyal and obedient to a grace and anointing that you served and they did many things in a bit to open your eyes prophetically this is a demonic thing you need to be delivered now i stretch my hands i release you from that spirit out of him now in the name of jesus christ it is true you are really called to be a prophet but not by this thing you see if god does not open your eyes your eyes cannot be opened. All these things, I'm, I'm, not being, I'm not being sarcastic, but all these things they, they drag you to the river and all of this, there is a scriptural way to obtain grace. And we have to be careful because we may be sincere people, but let's be careful. When you, you are only safe when you walk within the zone of scripture. This person is not a bad person. Are we together now? And I'm not maybe condemning or talking about any ministry but we have to be careful in the name of jesus again i set you free this spirit that appears to you let him go now in the name of jesus christ and there is there is a wicked pattern southern kaduna god is going to use you as a mighty vessel i'm releasing this grace on you mighty vessel there are people within that region that god will use you to bring supernatural deliverance to receive that grace right now in the name of jesus christ let's give jesus praise you gave word of knowledge for those with bleeding gum she had had the challenge for four years for bleeding, those who bleeding and swollen gums she has she has gone to the confidence use her tongues it's no longer bleeding bleeding again. what gum gum for how long for over four years now sir and right now it's gone like gone it's completely in the name of jesus it will never return to you again yes please Very short quickly. sightedness from birth Healed from by birth the, from birth now she can what see couldn't you me. see like um colors colors and then letters it's really hard but while you we were preaching i felt heat all over my face so i had to sit down and then when i got up everywhere was beautiful everywhere was beautiful And if our God is for us, then what could ever stop us? And if our God is with us, then what is In the name of Jesus, it will never return to you again by the power of the Holy Spirit. Yes, please. Pastor Jakes, you ready? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Very ready, sir. Um, please come. So, similar experiences we've been having. We've been having twin twin miracles, apostles. So, let's just take them. Yes. Praise God. I had this breast pain for over a year, and while you were speaking before the prayer started, the, the pain vanished. Completely gone. Yes, sir. How about you, my dear? Praise the Lord. I had a dream that a dog wanted to suck my breast, and I refused. Immediately, I woke what up kind from of the it? dream. You, you see how my these right Luciferian dreams are? You, hold on, please. There's a lesson there. You can see anything that is not consistent with scripture i have taught you when you get up don't just record it and leave it there you rebuke it in the name of jesus every dream is a seed by the principle of biology a seed are you understanding not not meeting you have to receive the seed for fertilization to happen so that dream is a seed 
you can receive it through fear and it will start growing and manifest or you can reject it barrenness is a condition where the woman's body can reject the seed of a man that means you have the power to reject certain seeds like this kind of demonic seed so you have a dream that a dog was trying to suck your breast i refuse in the dream so in i recall immediately you know those the I bible noticed. called dogs you see that yes so i noticed i fasted and i prayed about it after what some happened time, now i started feeling the pain three days ago i went to the hospital for checkup yesterday yes. they perpetrated my breast there is not no seed and not nothing today when i came to the side the breast was paining me so i touched it i'm not feeling any pain again. it's gone completely let's give jesus praise in the name of jesus for both of you i decree and declare that the workings of darkness will never prevail over your life in jesus name i pray yes sir Apostle, you gave one of knowledge of those with movement in their body. Now, she had an encounter 10 years ago that she swallowed something in the dream. And since then, it's not. Uh, 10 years ago, Straight I had Straight to the a point, dream. madam. Yes. Yeah, I swallowed a serpent. You and swallowed? A serpent, a snake. In a dream? Yes, sir. Okay. okay. So, ever since, I've been having hot flushes and then things crawling on my body. While you were given the word of knowledge, I fell under the anointing. So I had to come out. Even while we're saying something about altars, I fell again under the anointing here like twice. Remember what I taught? Christ revealed as the power of God to destroy those things. Your body is not a zoo that snakes move up and down. So anything you swallowed, I'm praying for you again, that anything you have swallowed that is of the devil, I command it to leave you now. Yeah. Now, in the name of Jesus Christ, it will never return to you again. Let's give Jesus praise. Next, please. Very quickly. Uh, mommy, here the same thing since 2009. Something has been moving in What happened body. to Mama? Let her speak. Very quickly. Yeah. Since 2009, I had a dream and someone scraped my, the middle of my hair. And since then, it doesn't grow. And Your hair does it. Oh, the, the woman I was talking about. Yeah. Oh, my God. So, again, uh, any, any time that I eat, it seems as if the food doesn't go down well. And again, another thing, I used to feel a uh, moving object in my body. And everything, the Lord has stepped in. Yeah. Mama, I stretch my hands in the name of Jesus. None of these things will return to you again by the power of the Holy Spirit in Jesus' name. One more, yes. Script here, 13 years ago. 13 here, years. Here, script. Let us speak, ma. So I was sleeping and I dreamt and in the dream, uh, they shaved my head. Now, are you, no are you noticing these patterns? Remember the prayer we prayed last week that your dreams be supernaturally sanctified. Your dream should not be a point of initiation. And in case you were not there last week, I prayed this prayer for you. Or you were here last week and did not take it seriously. Everything manipulating your dreams. You can see that they are having experiences beginning from the dream. But then it is manifesting physically. I pray for someone here. Everything manipulating your dreams and visionary experiences to confuse you and open you up to vistas of destruction. I declare be free now. Be free now. I sanctify your dreams in the name of Jesus Christ. Yes, ma'am. But since then, the hair refused to grow. The hair refused to grow. It refused. I have. I don't even sleep. I pray. I'm not sure I'm hearing her well. Hold on. I pray and pray and pray and pray and pray. What do you mean the hair refused to grow? There's nothing there. I'm bald around here, but normally I have really thick, long hair. But they shaved it all around like that. And I don't see how a woman can be bald on top. Oh my I'm God. Around this. And then things started moving in my body. And then things started changing. My, my um, favors started going away. I would yes. go to work and people would turn against me. I would be nice to people and they would Th turn against me. That's all right, ma'am. I'm going to pray for you. Thank God you came for the miracle service. She I pray for you. She, she, she came from, from the US. US. Yes, sir. My God. You see, whether you are in America, whether you are in London, once it is altars, they will fish you there and accept the power. The Bible says that except one greater than he comes to bind the strong man. Look at mama all the way from US. Look at this kind of evil on this woman. If the hair of Samson grew back, then I decree and declare 
in the name of Jesus madam please believe what I'm telling you in the name of Jesus Christ between now and the next three months we declare supernaturally let your hair grow back and all these doors of favor that have been closed I declare in Jesus name let it be open for you we declare that as you return back to us it will be strange testimonies amen. in jesus name i pray amen. amen and amen yes sir all right sir so sir for four years she for 17 years you spoke about you know people lactating and god healing them praise the lord well i'm here to testify to the goodness of god because i've been lactating for more than four years i went to the hospital and they checked me and they said um is normal but i know it's not normal because i'm not pregnant there's nothing wrong with me so when they were praying i could not even wait for the prayers to finish i ran to the restroom i made sure that i used the energy in me to press and nothing came out four years how about you my dear yes um for 17 years i've had this issue but it became more obvious after my surgery my right ovary was taken in 2019 taken out you had so, a surgery yes sir. oh my ovarian God. cyst so i wake up soaked most times or if i press the breast it comes out like it's up a straight movement so after you pray last year you prayed about it and it stopped do but you have children no sir i'm not married you're not married no sir and yet the surgery you oh my god can i pray for you do you believe god can give you brand new ovaries my dear look at me do you believe in jesus you believe i'll pray for you yes sir. place your hand there place it you just do what i'm asking you to do in the name of jesus we thank the doctors for doing their best but right now the same power that created the heavens and the earth i stretch my hands right now brand new ovaries agree with her brand new ovaries Amen. and i use her as a point of contact to pray for anyone here trusting god for a creative miracle perhaps by surgery or whatever something has been taken from your body in the name of jesus weep not for the lord is giving you a brand new one Amen. let me tell you the truth in my lifetime i will tell you this if i'm joking you will know i'm joking i have seen someone who they performed surgery they removed one of the bones and put metal god is my witness they put metal and the person was supposed to live with it like that and the person met me because he had a condition there's something the people feel i don't know if it's that during rainy season or when the weather is cold or something of that sort it will affect the person imagine like putting you know something that can absorb cold inside the person I was angry in my spirit i laid two of my hands not one two of my hands and cried to the god of heaven that person went back this is a miracle that happened many years ago the doctor was shocked i spoke with the doctor myself they did the x-ray they could not find any metal there again i know that jesus can create new organs and my dear i pray for you again don't cry you may not know what this means to her as a woman but in the name of jesus christ let there be a creative miracle now in jesus name i pray and for the dear one four years the lord perfects you in jesus name i pray yes please very quickly next apostle six months no menses i've been having menstrual complication and hormonal imbalance i can't even count my period but for six months now i've not seen it so i woke up with faith that will see it i even took extra pad i wore pad so when i came you said we should go and check so immediately I, I just saw it i just saw my period can you imagine six months hormonal imbalance last year i had bleeding serious bleeding like i was giving birth like too much i was even scared of even my message to come so it sits for six months now bless your hand on your stomach father in the name of jesus we normalize everything in your body now it will function for you normally after the order of women amen. every abnormality and complication we cause it now amen. this miracle remains permanent for you amen. in jesus name please return back celebrating yes please apostle you gave word of knowledge for difficulty in breathing and abdominal pain yes three of them they were healed by the power of god let me hear yes 
For the past two weeks, I've been dealing with shortness of breath and abdominal pain from the residue of an illness I've been battling, but instantly the anointing came on me and I've been healed. In the name of Jesus, it will never return to you again Same by the power the of the Holy Spirit. Spirit. All three of I've you, been my pain. I decree and declare in Jesus' name, let there be supernatural healing for you right now. It will never return again in Jesus' name. You gave word of knowledge of people that eat and throw back what they eat. Now, these are, I mean, twin, twin brother ruminates. That is, he eats, then brings it back, and then eat it again like rumi, ruminant animals for years. So why you well, raise the on. prayer? What, what do you mean eat and bring it, brings it back where? He will throw up? You throw up. No, you eat like and ruminate. You chew the cord. Oh, you, like, I what you are eating, you bring it back Let again. Let us speak. No, she's not the one. He's our twin brother. Uh, let us still speak. What happened to him? The thing is that for more than 10, 12 years now, my twin brother, when he eats, he throws up back. Is that normal, doctors? No, he has issues with his esophagus and his digestive system. And they said, the when we went for a test, almost 10, 12 years ago, they said that there's a tube, there's, there's a place in the system that is supposed to be small and it's open and the place that is supposed to be open is small and what happened now while you were praying i called him on the phone yes. i called him on whatsapp to do video but he was not going through so i called him directly and i said just be saying amen they are calling your case just be saying amen right. and the more you you kept on saying that he, if it's, if they stand up at night they can't sleep my brother doesn't sleep he will be up his back will be what's on the his wall. name Ken, they are like suru. Ken, then in the name of Jesus, we use your sister as a point yeah, of contact. Abuja at, at Guarimpa. He's in Guarimpa now. Yes. In Jesus' name, we perfect his condition. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. He's not a ruminant. In the name of Jesus, that, that demonic thing stops now. Amen. We normalize his organs in Amen. Jesus' name. Amen. And for you as a sister, you're standing. Do you have your own testimony? No, don't worry, I'll pray for you. In the name of Jesus, whatever it is that God has done, I seal it and I perfect it. In Jesus' name I pray. Yes. Amen. Yes, sir. All right. So, Apostle, you gave a precise word of knowledge yes, sir. regarding a young man that is bleeding from his nose. Bleeding through your nose. Yes, yes, sir. I've been bleeding for more than 15 years, actually. It was um, one of the days I was playing while I was young. And then um, I just bent my head and suddenly I saw blood. My and God, I, there are was, so many testimonies. Okay, and I was like, I told my mom, my mom said, I should just pray. So it, has, it happened even this morning while I was coming to church. I and what happened to you now? I felt that same sensation that the blood is going to come out. I was ashamed. So I was just checking it a little bit and found out that there's Completely. no blood. Yes. In the name of Jesus Christ, may it never reoccur again amen. by the power of the Holy Spirit. Amen. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen and amen. Then, Apostle, I want Minister Kenny to read a profound testimony. You mentioned PID, something regarding PID. And now we have a testimony online. Daddy, we have amazing testimonies okay. online. We have someone from Kaduna got healed of PID. Daddy mentioned her case, and she got healed instantly. We have someone else from Spain got healed of allergy. Whatever he eats, he throws up. He went to eat and has not thrown up since. We have another woman from Benin. Mm. Apostle mentioned that there is someone with difficulty in swallowing, like the throat is blocked. Yes. I keyed into it, she says, and kneeled in front of the television. And Let Apostle me tell said, you this. Let me tell you this. Just pause a moment, Kenny. Do you know, no matter where you are across the globe, we thank God for the privilege of technology, provided you can connect by faith. You see that? in a moment the same thing god is doing here it's possible that you can even be here and not receive and someone can be at the ends of the earth it's about your connection by faith yes sir and apostle said that there is another person with the same case watching immediately he rebukes the condition i started belching i and i went to spit the Holy Spirit directed me to drink water and the anointing oil. I am healed. Completely. We have someone from Rwanda. Apostle wow. mentioned her case of breast pain. She got healed instantly. We have one more person, and we've not yet been able to ascertain his location. But he says he has balls all over his body for a long time. Boils. And it, yes. And immediately you mentioned that case. He says, balls moving from one part of my lap to another disappearing seasonally and as apostle ministered 
instantly. I can see them. I cannot see them again. They all disappear. Hallelujah. Praise God. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amazing. Yes, please. Four years arthritis healed. Arthritis? Pain. Yes. Pain Mama, in her legs. For Mama, the past how long has that been? Since 2018. 2018. 2018. Yes. What happened to you? I've been having pains. I went for my younger brother's uh, wedding. After the tradition, on Sunday for us to come and give testimony, my two legs started pending me. I can't even walk. I, I, when I said, let me carry a stick, my husband will shout, how can you use stick and be walking? Yes, Actually, what happened to you now, ma? But now, as we are praying for arthritis, the pains, I will, I, if it is the time that it was pending, yes. me, I wouldn't have been standing for a, a long time here. Yeah. But now, the move pain. your legs, Mama. Any pain? No pain. Any pain? Are you seeing what Jesus is doing? In the name of Jesus, you are free and free forever Amen. by the power of the Holy Spirit. You gave word of knowledge of a woman who wakes up in the night and will not be able to sleep again. Yes, ma. The power of God touched her when you gave that word of knowledge, and she fell under the anointing, and she's healed now. Right now, completely. This, this is our son here to testify. This is the son. Yes. What happened to Mama? Um, she has not been able to sleep, uh, especially since uh, last year when we lost our sister. And um, oh my well, God. I, I brought her to Abuja to stay with me for a while. Okay. And um, I noticed that trend. Well, oh, she's not been God. able to sleep? No. She was, she was built to go back, but she said no, that she's going to stay for this miracle service. Let and me when... encourage you. Listen, let me use this opportunity and encourage you. You see, there are times, humanly speaking, there are certain kinds of losses, especially of people you love, that when it happens, it can wreck your whole life. At that point, no human can counsel you in a way that comforts. At such point, you have to tap into the ministry of the Holy Spirit called the Comforter. Men can comfort, but there is one called the Comforter. He can minister to you in a way that no man can. You can see her own, it's not just a medical condition. You lost your daughter, mama. So you can see, that's the pain of a mother. It's going to take a long time, but the Holy Spirit can come as a comforter. And I used Mama to pray for everyone who has been bereaved. I want you to receive by faith now. You've been bereaved within the last one year, especially that you are struggling. You don't know how to just, you have been asking questions. This is still a miracle service. In the name of Jesus, I use our mother here as a point of contact to pray for everyone here who has lost a loved one mother father brother siblings parents we stand as the church of the Lord Jesus Christ and we declare that the Holy Spirit ministers to you in the name of Jesus Christ now I will tell you why I'm praying for you help that woman I will tell you something that you need to learn there is a spirit called the spirit of grief it only comes to you when negative things happen like losses it will steal into your emotion when the spirit of grief comes it will destroy you in a way that you cannot imagine it's good to mourn but there is a spirit called grief i learned this from pastor kenneth copeland i heard him teach about the spirit of grief now you can never you may never we, we cannot imagine what it takes by the privilege of the work that I do as a man of God. Um, you know, when people lose their loved ones, I'm usually about the first to know. And so, whether or not I'm directly related to the people, no matter how hard you are as a man of God, sometimes you just have to be strong for their sake, but you will still feel it because you are human. But I have seen the spirit of grief slip through these moments and remain with people and families and destroy them i know people who resign from their workplace resign from everything and said you know what i know people who committed suicide have you heard of such things after they lost loved ones they went to kill themselves that one is no longer mourning it's the spirit of grief mama i use you as a point of contact in the name of jesus may the god of heaven by his spirit comfort you and I declare anyone here suffering from the spirit of grief as a result of the loss of a loved one, be delivered from it now. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen and amen. Yes. One year arthritis healed, confirmed by the medical doctors. One year arthritis. One year arthritis healed. Which, of the, which of the legs? Left or right? Hepatitis. 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 Oh, hepatitis. Gone. Yes, gone. In the name of Jesus, I declare supernatural healing. Both of them? No. 
She put to bed 2018 and then her body has not been in a normal shape. You get she left. could not, yes, she could not stand for a very long time. But when you mentioned that case, she fell under the anointing and then she's been standing completely, completely healed. In the name her of Jesus Christ, it will never return to you again, my dear. All of you who are standing, you are healed right now in Jesus' name. Yes, sir. So, Apostle, his first time here in Koinonia. You're welcome. He just Most welcome. And yes. God visited him. Hallelujah. Good evening, Apostle. How are you? Over two months ago, I had a pain. I just woke up and I had a pain in my private part. And I had bruises all over. I prayed over it. It went two, two weeks after. I came back severely. This is my first time here. And I was upstairs. I was praying as we were praying along. The power of God hit me. And the pain stopped. I was just... It's my first time. I didn't know the protocol, how to run out here to come and give the testimony. I just came to just say, Jesus, I thank you. In the name of Jesus, that demonic thing will never return to you again. In Jesus' name, I pray. Yes, please. Praise God. Also, Very quickly, let's, let's see uh, if we can reduce a few of these lines and last then we'll month, just pray. Last general. month, I was here with uh, ulcer symptoms. Ulcer? Yes. Okay, what happened to you now? So when I went back home, I went to run a test and it was not there. Even here, last month, in the night, they tested me. I was not having the ulcer, but I was still having the symptom. In the name of Jesus, I declare you are supernaturally healed by the power of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Yes, please. Next person. I felt the same ulcer two days ago. So when I, before I came here, I didn't feel it. But You've been healed of ulcer in Jesus' name. Let it never return to you again. Yes, sir. We need to hear this testimony. Yes, I've been, I've been interested. I've been looking at her. Yes, yes, yes. I'm not too qualified to do this <laughs> so let me allow doctor. Come. Doctor, yes, please. Um, Daddy, this child has what they call juvenile diabetes. So it's just um, diabetes starting from an early doctors, age. Doctors, doctors, doctors. Okay, go ahead. Okay, so you find them having very high level of blood sugar. So as of this morning, they had about 20, about 20. That was the blood um, level, um, sugar level that okay. they recorded this morning. So, 20? Um, yes. How old is she? 12, 12 years. years. So, usually they take, um, there's this drug, they take insulin just to help maintain the yes. sugar level. So, after the prayers and all, he believed, trusted God, and then they went to the medical stand, and then they checked the sugar level, and it was 3.3. <laughs> From 20, a 12, listen, if Satan does not spare a little girl like this, 12 year old, 20, my dear, how are you? Fine. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, we pray for this, our little one, it will never go beyond normal again in Jesus' name. And in the name of Jesus, I declare, you grow normally, you are healthy in Jesus' name. Let's celebrate Jesus. God bless you. Yes, please. Well, so, Apostle, well, this is not directly related to healing, but yes. quite interesting. Um, you know, the people you called out and prayed for. Okay. Just praying for them, sir. Her dad has been calling her. She will, she will explain. Father, you mentioned um, my father has done diabolical things. You mentioned my father has done things with innocent people's blood. And my father, immediately I came out, my father started calling me. My he started father, calling you? He started calling me. Immediately I came out. He started calling me immediately. I came out. Oh, this both way. of you, you are sisters. Yes. Where are you from? Kogi State. He started calling you that. What happened? Uh, we haven't picked up the call because we know that he wants us to come back home. What do we do to these things now? <laughs> Listen, dear ones, look at me. You believe in Jesus Christ? Don't be afraid. Are you Muslims? You are Christians. Don't be afraid. Um, let me tell you something. There is no weapon that is fashioned against you. You see, it's very difficult to do whatever you want to do because this is their father. I declare that no charm and no enchantment of darkness against you will strive. See, it's very difficult when the person who the devil is using is related to you. It's easy to shout and kill any other person who is not a relative, who is any other person. But now, this is, this is, this is your own father. They love their father. Don't cry. Can we pray that God will save that man? 
that is a scriptural approach to these kinds of things god is able to save unto the uttermost don't you think because he's involved in diabolic things god cannot save him ask saul who became paul father we agree as a church right now arrest and visit the father arrest and visit the father we pray for his salvation and in the name of jesus we pray that he is preserved and as for you i use you as a point of contact to your siblings and i declare you are preserved supernaturally in jesus name please go in peace do not fear in jesus name apostle another case of rumination here regurgitation okay since when she was a teenager she has had that challenge she will eat it will come out then takes back again but is that true when you mentioned that case the power of god came on her so she went to drink water and then and it's she, gone it's gone secondly a woman visited me 29th of january that i meant to serve a water spirit. a woman a woman she okay. has been calling me since last year the and woman has been calling you yes physically or spiritually? physically that I'm, I'm meant to serve water so last where are you year, from I've, i'm from enugu state and my father was so diabolic that two of my sister's husband have died one is a pastor that just passed on august last year so she came to 20 to uh, this 22 uh, 22 yes and said that i have to serve shirai that she leave church i told her no that i'm called to serve god not to serve shirai so when she left i saw a casket on my bed and the woman is late no the woman left but i was seeing a vision of a casket when she left my room so and i started having a kind of my head was as if i was bleeding so things I don't kill, but anybody that made a casket for you must enter inside it. In the name of Jesus Christ, let me say it again. Anybody that makes a casket for you, I decree and declare what happened to Haman. The same way he built a, a gallow to defeat Mordecai. In the name of Jesus, I say it again. Anybody conspiring with darkness on account of your case, they will, they will, they will get into their own destruction. And in Jesus' name, prophetically, we warn that woman, whoever she is, in the name of Jesus, if she will not let you go, she will follow the way of her man for sure. In Jesus' name. Listen, you are a believer. Don't let anybody threaten you. This is a world that is full of people who will take advantage. They will prey on your ignorance. Are we together? Nobody, even Jesus Christ, gave us room to choose him or any other thing. Don't let anybody force you and say, you must worship this. It's demonic. I said before you, life and death, blessing and cursing. He tells you to choose. Hallelujah. Okay, yes, all right, sir. sir. So we have very interesting testimonies here. He was here let's, last let's year. Let's take two. Of, okay, well, Please, can, um, we just, can I add this? All of these testimonies, yes. Now, here's what will happen. Um, I, I want to be encouraging all those who come out. It takes a lot of courage to come out and testify, and sometimes because we are constrained by time. Here's what I want you to do from now on ushers or PR, whoever, when people come out like this to testify if they don't have a chance to testify what happens is that give them a chance to register their names so that by next sunday we can start with them to testify there are so many people to testify and because of time we'll just speak a few so i think pr or ushers those responsible can do that we when people come out and stand and they are not given a chance to testify they become discouraged another time are we together if, if this were a, a vigil, for instance, we'll have enough time and then we have to do some other things and finish on time because there are people who stay very far. This is what is uh, at the back of our rushing so many things. Generally, a miracle service like this, when you are dealing with issues, you will need quite some time to really deal with matters in people's lives. I'm sure one of these days, God will grant us grace to do a vigil. In the name of Jesus Christ where we, we take out time and really, really address issues in people's lives, in Jesus' name. But for some of you who may not be allowed to testify, please don't, don't feel bad. Um, make sure that we'll give you room next week. You come, um, we can start just quizzing to the service so that we give more time for testimonies and have them come to testify. But let's take maybe two or three so that we can finish 
um, right. because I want to speak over your life. Remember the four things we spoke about? Even before we pray over those requests, it must happen in your life. Yeah. The spiritual progress must happen. The financial breakthroughs. Are they here for testimonies? If they are here for testimonies, just collect their testimonies. Mama is here for testimonies. What happened to you, Mama? Oh, dear. Hallelujah. Have you, have you vetted her? Okay. Mama, straight to the point, eh? God bless you. Um, technical help us, please. I'm among the uh, people that you said uh, something is moving all over their body. Okay. So as you prayed, the something left It's me. gone. In Jesus' name, Mama, the fullness of your days you will fulfill. Amen. Amen and amen. God bless you. Yes, please. Okay, Apostle. So we have... Sorry, can we have the camera here? Just to... So he, he had a cast on his leg. Um... Oh. And Please show us. Can we see it? Is that possible? A cast. Last year. Last year he had a cast. And he was healed when he came here. And God followed up with another. Praise person. the Lord. My name is Farouk Danjuman. Last year when you started the Koinonia, I came here with crutches. And I told Oh, you myself, came here with crutches? Yes. What happened to you? And I said my next visit to Koinonia will be... I won't come with the crutches. Yes. And you prayed and... That was the end right of that now, purchase. Right now, you're completely then, free. Yes. Then this one happened again. You know, I was on a platform, and I was about to fall. And then by my side, there was a snake. Then I screamed. That was a dream. A dream. A dream. So, and I screamed. What, what happened now? We don't have all that time, I man. Just straight and to I the point. What did the Lord Jesus leg. Christ? And the, this, this hand refused to go after taking so many. And right periods. now. And right now, yes. the Lord healed. We establish your authority over snakes and scorpions Amen. and all the powers of the enemy. Nothing shall by any means hurt you. Amen. In the name of Jesus, you are Amen. perfected in Jesus' name. So, sir, Let's 10 years ulcer healed by the Ulcer, 10 years. Asthma. In the asthma, name. Sorry, I beg your pardon. Asthma. asthma. Wow. Praise, praise. Sorry. This is the inhaler she uses. Okay. I was sitting right there, so I started feeling heavy pains. I started breathing very hard. So the next day I took my hella, and whenever I take my hella, I don't, I don't stand up at yes. all, because it makes me weak. So you say we should put our faith in action. So yes. I stood up. Me, I stood up. I hold the chair. When I closed my eye, some people held my back. I did not know the people. Then I saw as if I vomit, like in a vision. I saw myself as if I vomited a lizard and ran out. Last, uh, when I was 12 years, when I went to my family compound, my parents, there was a night I came out very early in the morning. So I saw a lion. Hold on. Let me pray for them before they move. Eh? Please, just stand. Let me pray for you. Yes, go ahead. So I saw a lion on very early in the morning i never told anybody because nobody would believe me so anytime before the asthma come i used to see this lion so he made i saw this this lizard coming out of me when i i, I bent down i saw the lizard coming. when i and you're completely back, healed now yes breathe i went to the restroom breathe in and out when i climbed the stairs breathe in and out when i climbed the stairs that's I all right my dear in the name of jesus christ <laughs> let's celebrate her she's healed by the power of the holy ghost it will never return to you again in the name of Jesus. Now, supernaturally, oh dear, there's one more. Okay, let's take that migraine last one. since when she was a child. Migraine. So migraine. In they G told her it's a pattern. But while you were praying, she fell under the anointing and then the migraine is Completely gone. gone. Healed. Demonic patterns gone forever. In Jesus' name I pray. Let's take the last one. Well, similar pains here. They all have been healed of one pain. In the name of Jesus Christ. I pray for all of you who are standing by the power that raised Christ from the dead. Your healings remain permanent. Whether you came out to testify or not, every healing you have received tonight remains permanent. In Jesus' name I pray. Rise up on your feet. We are going to pray. We have just five minutes of prayer. Have you submitted your requests? Lift it up very quickly. Ushers. Now, here's what will happen. Ushers, let's walk. We'll keep reinventing ourselves in the miracle service to come to conserve time what will happen is for every miracle service as soon as we come before praise and worship or afterwards ushers just move around so that we submit the prayer request so that when it's time like this we just have it um quickly we we have a few but then please lift it quickly pass it to the last person pass it to the last person at the the left or right aisle whichever don't worry nobody will read your request begin to pray in the spirit while you are doing that i want to pray for you right now along the four areas that God led us to pray today. Are you praying in the spirit? 
for one minute and then I'll lead you through a declaration of faith. Let the redeemed of the Lord say so. Let the healed of the Lord say so. The blessed of the Lord say so. The lifted of the Lord say so. The anointed of the Lord say so. The prosperous of the Lord say so. The healthy of the Lord say so. Please make sure you receive all the requests, ushers. Let's make it very fast. Those following online, you can bring out your prayer request and just keep it in front of you prophetically for those who are connecting online if you've sent it no problem we have it and we're going to pray over it but if you're in your home and you have your request just place it prophetically hallelujah amen now we're going to pray concerning our spiritual growth please listen the bible says i wish above all things that you prosper and be in health even as thy soul prospers remember we are not just a place of breakthrough and miracles and liftings we are primarily 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 a place that will help people encounter jesus christ and encounter the power of the holy spirit if your spiritual life has gone down or is going down your fervency for prayer word study the house of god now is the time to pray grace is available to put you back in right and strong standing are you ready to pray some of you have stopped fasting the grace for it is completely not there anytime you say you want to fast from seven o'clock by ten it's as if you are going to die it is a demonic thing the human spirit even animals have capacity to endure anything that puts you in that state is the devil he's trying to destroy you lift your voice in one minute and pray over your spiritual life in the name of jesus christ as we step into the month of april i am praying over my spiritual life someone is praying passion for the word of god passion for prayer passion for the house of god the bible declares i was glad when they said unto me let us go to the house of the lord lift your voice and pray over your spiritual life the bible says grow in grace second peter chapter 3 and verse 18 grow in grace and in the knowledge of our lord jesus christ we can grow in grace and we can grow in the knowledge of our lord jesus christ i like you to declare that my spiritual life is coming alive my passion for the things of god my passion for the house of god my passion for prayer make sure you pray this is a major part of this meeting my passion for prayer my passion for the study of the word in the name of jesus my spiritual life is fanned back to flames every lukewarmness backsliding everything that does not represent spiritual growth i drive it out of my life in the name of jesus christ number two we spoke about healing now listen when you study what paul wrote about the gift of the spirit all of the other gifts you will find gift of gift of but when it comes to healing you will see that paul wrote the gifts of healing that means there are many dimensions to healing bodily healing is just one of the dimensions there is solical healing the healing of your mind for the bible says a broken spirit can dry the bones from the realm of the spirit and it can affect you are we together now it says say to those who are of a broken heart do not be afraid he will come and save you so you are going to pray for healing complete holistic healing for some of you maybe healing in your body you will still pray some of you god has begun the miracle it's yet to be perfected you are going to pray for perfection of healing for some of you is your mind your emotions have been so wrecked by all the things that have happened in your life maybe pains maybe disappointments several things have happened in your mind and you need to be free you need to be completely healed there are others who are saying there are other aspects of my life i'm coming to finances but even finances you can receive healing in your finances the same way your body is sick your finances can be sick your career can be sick lift your voice and command healing go ahead Go ahead and declare healing by the power of the Holy Spirit. 
I declare healing healing of my body I declare healing healing of my mind I declare healing healing in my job I declare healing healing in my emotions is someone praying remember ye not the former things nor consider the things of old healing from disappointments healing from pain healing from betrayals healing from backstabbings healing from losses healing from bereavements go ahead and pray i decree and declare supernatural healing by the power of the holy spirit i'm tired of carrying a backlog of pain i declare that i'm healed finally by the power of the holy spirit the sun has set me free i am free indeed the sun has set me free i am free indeed in the name of jesus christ hallelujah third prayer i want you to pray this with aggression and pray this with vigor stagnation to be stagnated means to be kept in one place are we together yes stagnation is very dangerous because the bible says the path of a just is as a shining light that moves that shines brighter and brighter unto the perfect day you are going to decree and declare every force responsible for stagnation many of you what you are praying right now is what you wrote here i like you to pray stagnation in ministry stagnation in business stagnation in family stagnation over your career lift your voice and rebuke that spirit command advancement over your life command advancement are you praying you came for a miracle service inside outside command stagnation those in ministry pray in the name of Jesus I do ministry with results I command the spirit of stagnation over my life stagnation in my career stagnation over my endeavors in the name of Jesus I decree and declare I press I go forward I move forward in every area of my life I break forth from the left I break forth from the right I break forth above and below in the name of Jesus I make constructive ever increasing progress ever increasing project progress I actualize destiny by the power of the Holy Spirit some of you may have experienced stagnation even in your structural establishment you begun a building it has refused to grow it has refused to be completed pray and rebuke that spirit in the name of Jesus hallelujah finally look up please I want you to pray over your finances now let me say this we're wrapping up I don't know if you are interested in your financial well-being or not but as a man of God that God has placed over you I will not let you rest till you prosper it's not only knowing God you will know God you will love him with all your heart but I can tell you in advance if something is wrong with your finances you will suffer as if Jesus did not die for you are we together I've seen fi financial issues finance is not everything but let me submit to you finance holds a major key in your well-being ask anybody who is sincere especially at this time now you know how much look at diesel 700 and something pms only god knows the other day we we're discussing a school of ministry gas cylinder gas cylinder i don't know whether it's empty or filled you you will buy it and be crying as you are lifting it back home because of you know all kinds of things women will tell you here you go to the market it's as if you want to run away from that place because everything has escalated you see the bible told us that these times will come but there is a system of exemption don't forget there was darkness in egypt but there was light all over goshen are we together now when you are praying for your finances you are going to pray a twofold prayer number one that christ be revealed as the wisdom of god remember there are two levels of light there is light that shines on your head job 29 and there is light that shines on your feet the one that shines on your head gives you illumination the one that shines on your feet gives you direction you need both you need strategy and direction thou shall hear a voice from behind saying just because everybody is doing something you follow them you may crash 
you need a specific direction and then of course we are going to pray that the favor of god oh dear i'm praying that you will really understand the role that favor has to play as far as your financial lifting is concerned what is favor men willing to participate in your in your success are you ready to pray in one minute cry to god pray break this hold of financial stagnation please pray please pray most of what you have written here if we are to be very honest most of them depend on finances the fees of your children structural projects your well-being and welfare those who are under your care that you need to take care of as a person you may not have any financial need but how about your organization how about your church how about your ministry lift your voice and pray especially for some of you that god has so graciously raised to be breadwinners to be the ones who will help your loved ones lift your voice and pray lord strengthen my hand strengthen my hand financially even at times like this holy spirit appear unto me as the wisdom of god let light shine upon my head giving me illumination and strategies let light shine upon my feet giving me direction and guidance please pray pray from the depth of your heart there are many pending projects in our lives because of financial limitations there are many things we are unable to do as far as our divine assignments are concerned because of financial constraints rebuke that spirit i'm about to speak over your life hallelujah 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 can i tell you sincerely one of the reasons why we are able to serve god in truth by the mercies of god is because god has shown us mercy on this wise i can tell you integrity is difficult when you have financial problems just believe me when i tell you this now remember we've taught here when we teach on finances there are people who exaggerate it and it is all about the marketing of flesh money money let me have money just for the sake of the flesh that's not what we are saying but any sincere person who loves God knows that if something is wrong with your finances it can wreck your marriage there are do you know that there are children that stop going to school since after the pandemic because their parents sincerely cannot offer it and there are others who maybe have their jobs their jobs are still there they are paying them the salary is just that it is honestly not enough to solve the problems can i tell you this i've told you i pray to god and i vowed and covenanted with god that i will never be the man of god who just focuses on your spiritual growth alone and then leave other aspects of your life to go down imagine that as you're standing right now there's no food in my house i'm going to carry a bowl and walk to you prophetically not generally i will walk to you i will tell you as, as soon as i get to you just don't even argue with me i know what i've seen that made me come to you because of hunger so most of the people who are compromising on integrity may not necessarily be bad people when you pray for the grace for integrity pray for financial empowerment if you are empowered it will give you the leverage to be able to walk in integrity are we together now if someone comes to bribe you to change something in your office and is going to give you hundred million you can say no I'm standing for Jesus you will go to heaven but you will still suffer on earth because of that that because of your integrity so you have to pray a time has come in the body of Christ where we should not shy away from the necessity of financial empowerment you can be empowered and still be righteous you can still be empowered and love jesus are we together there are more compromises as a result of lack of resources than there are as a result of plenty resources are you ready to pray for favor please cry unto god in one minute father let favor come upon my life grant me financial rest the lord put this in my heart this is part of the miracle service. I must honor what he has given me. Please pray. Corporate rest financially. Personal rest financially. 
Lord grant rest in the name of Jesus I'm tired of financial embarrassment I'm tired of worrying about money is distracting my prayer life is distracting my word study life lack is introducing wrong relationships to my life grant me the grace to be empowered pray for favor pray for favor pray for favor god using men to participate in your lifting god using men to participate in your destiny outside make sure you pray if this is all we do tonight it was worth it lord the realities of the times will not catch up with me i am immune by knowledge immune by favor hallelujah exodus 11 3 exodus 11 3 i'm about to pray right now have i wasted your time tonight exodus 11 3 please be patient i want you to return with results media are we still there are we together exodus 11 3 read with me please everyone one to read and the lord gave the people favor stop so people as a as a community can find favor not just an individual and the lord gave the people favor in the sight of the egyptians uh-huh moreover the man moses was very great in the land of egypt in the sight of pharaoh's servants and in the sight of the people what was responsible for his favor the lord gave favor there is a relationship between favor and greatness truly you can be great by favor i have taught you that who hates you does not matter naysayers can go but who likes you you are going to pray that god will make someone like you it's not a carnal prayer in this wicked world that god will, will make someone endear to you genuinely with no strings attached lift your voice and cry to heaven believe me one person who finds favor who you find favor with can give you a house can give you all these things you are looking for it's not a license for laziness but it's an advantage in the kingdom let's tap into it lord grant me favor god can open untold doors into profitable relationships lord i'm tired of troublemakers in my life send help us is someone praying lord i'm tired of naysayers in my life send genuine help us hallelujah hallelujah let's save the time please prophetically stretch your hands here and let's begin to declare just for one or two minutes i'm going to pray go ahead and begin to declare we decree and declare by the power of the holy spirit every request are you praying lord they return as testimonies every praise is to our god every song of worship is to our god every praise every praise is to our god one more time every praise is to our god every word of worship with one accord Every praise, every praise, is to our God. In the name of Jesus, Father, we have obeyed you and we have honored you by bringing our requests. For the Bible says to be anxious in nothing, but it says in everything by prayer and supplication with thanksgiving. You said we should let our requests made be made known unto god father we have brought this as representations of our concerns grant us rest in jesus name 
Shout it louder, amen. amen. As I would always say in the name of Jesus, every prayer request here is turned into a testimony. Amen. Supernatural testimonies. most of the testimonies here require favor may that favor work for you in the name of jesus christ any human agent stopping answers to this prayer we clear them out of the way now and i decree and declare as we have spoken and as we have declared let it be so for you you will return back with your testimony in Jesus name I pray please lift your hands let me speak over your life thank you for your patience in the name of Jesus I decree and declare this week by the power that raised Christ from the dead everything that has not been working everything that represents a disappointment I stand upon this grace and I decree and declare may it begin to walk in your life hear me the same way you left your home and you came here and nothing stopped you where you need to live and go to may nothing stop you in the name of jesus christ the same way when you left your home there were many roads but you knew the exact road to follow to get to this place every confusion around your life may god show you the exact thing to do now in the name of jesus for all of you who are here when you got to the gate the gate did not close against you therefore i declare every gate that has closed against you i open it now in the name of jesus christ hear me there are many things you need in your life but you do not have the currency to buy them the wisdom as currency to buy the favor as currency to buy every spiritual currency you need to transact supernaturally and bring to your life results may that currency be supplied you now in the name of jesus hear me if you have submitted anything on the desk of your helper and they have forgotten you this week may it be a week of remembrance for you i prophesy this week may it be a week of remembrance for you hallelujah you are exempted from kidnappers i say it again you and your children are exempted from kidnappers in the name of jesus you are exempted from accidents you are exempted from the evils of the day in the name of jesus christ and i pray for you finally this grace called favor that can come upon your life as a mantle and turn your life around i decree and declare it is a signature grace in this ministry therefore i pray carry that grace now carry that grace now find favor with men find favor even with egyptians find favor with systems find favor with structures in the name of jesus be great by favor rise by favor thrive by favor in the name of jesus christ finally everything that has brought tears to your eyes i decree and declare your weeping comes to an end now let it become a season of laughter for you in jesus name i pray let's keep standing may i request that we minimize movement the altar call does not take more than two minutes or three minutes please let's not distract those who are coming to jesus as much as possible there are people here who are saying apostle i need jesus i came for this miracle service I've seen the hand of God, but I need to make my ways right. Two people. There are those who are saying, Apostle, I've never made this decision. 
I am making it for the first time. There are others who are saying, Apostle, I've made this decision, but I need to rededicate my life to Jesus. Please, I'd like you to rush quickly. There's no need cajoling. You know that you need Jesus. Make your way to the front. Don't wait for anyone to be the first. Be the first to come. Come to Jesus. Koinonia, celebrate them. All the overflows, move to your LED screens, following from your homes, connecting by faith. Here is your chance to surrender everything to Jesus. Please come very quickly. I count one to five and i begin praying i have decided to follow jesus no turning back no turning back i have decided to follow jesus no turning back no You're joining them come quickly lift your right hand high above your head thank you so much for this bold decision you're still coming please come rush very quickly rush very quickly if you come after the prayer the prayers um if you didn't pray the prayer make sure that you tell the counselor so that they'll lead you say lord jesus tonight i have heard your word i believe that you died for me i believe that you rose again for my justification right now i accept you into my heart as my savior as my lord and as my king the power of sin satan hell and the grave is broken over my life i have the life of god and from tonight and forever i go forward ever and backward never i am a child of god I am saved in Jesus name please keep your hands lifted father thank you for these ones you have brought them by your spirit and they have confessed the Lordship of Jesus by the authority of Scripture I declare your sins forgiven I decree and declare that the Lord gives you a new beginning I commend you to the ministry of the Word and the ministry of the Holy Spirit may you be established and grounded in righteousness from today you go forward ever and backward never in Jesus name I pray amen god bless you for this great decision please follow the counselors they are waving the placard just follow them very quickly let's celebrate them as they go let's celebrate them as they go let's celebrate them as they go hallelujah now to hello scriptures exhort us from the book of proverbs it says my son Attend to my sins, incline thy ears to my words. Let them not depart from thy eyes and keep them in the midst of thee. As you have listened to this message, we believe that you are going to reap the blessings thereof if you attend to these words as well. That you will keep these words in the midst of your heart. That no matter the circumstance, your eyes are going to be fixed on these words and as you have been blessed we will tell you to share this message be an evangelist by sharing to others to be blessed and then subscribe to this channel for us because we have loads of videos we have loads of content that is going to make you blessed that is going to set you on course that is going to set you ablaze and don't forget to like for us thank you